This is a city of amnesia, but sometimes memories appear suddenly and unexpectedly out of the darkness. phantom that Major Dan Dostin caught a glimpse of. Was it really a lingering spectral image of something he saw once long, long ago? Uh, sir, is something wrong? I just had a weird dream. A dream? It's a reoccurring one. I uh, have it every once in a while. Might be a trace of memory. Casualties? Well, Major, counting Sam Lawrence, a counselor from the Justice Department, and two of his assistants, that would bring the total to 46. They didn't know what hit him. In other words, 43 were innocent bystanders. It's the same M.O. as the bombing at the Department of Justice ten days ago. I don't get it. What's the bomber after? Why is he only targeting over-the-hill retired city officials? Huh? Major Dawson? <sighs> well, they've reportedly found part of the bomb detonator nearby. Maybe it'll provide some clues and give us a break in this case. Let's hope so. Dan Dawson is a hard-nosed cop. He's completely devoted to the force, and he has more pride in the military police than anything else. 
in a different sense. Paradigm City needs him as much as it needs me. Unknown language? Well, I'm not sure if that's actually an accurate description. But I discovered there were some indecipherable letters carved on part of the device. Oh, look, here it is. More than likely, he's a man who has no interest in romance. Uh, <clears throat> what do you want? I didn't come here for anything. I was just in the area, so I thought I would drop by. <laughs> you want me to believe that? Hey, stranger things have been known to happen. I can't imagine what brought about this change of heart, but your timing is bad. I have to go in front of an inquiry committee right now. Say, Roger, what does this mean to you? Vous êtes si gentil. Dunno. I've never heard that language before. I thought so. As I've already explained to you in my earlier statements, the string of terrorist bombings has some inexplicable elements to it. Then you maintain the notion that the perpetrator isn't from our city, but from somewhere else. In other words, a different country. I'm just suggesting that it's a possibility. <laughs> That's preposterous. The rest of the world has been utterly wiped out. Major, there's nothing out there. Paradigm City is all that remains of our civilization. Begging your pardon, gentlemen, but I think this matter should be... Major Dustin, the police force is to go on full alert immediately. We expect your men to root out the violent element which is infesting our city. At once! Do you really think this is for the best? After all, the man is in contact with that negotiator from time to time. Relax. There's no need to make a to-do out of it. I'm not worried. It's not going to jeopardize my plans if people learn about the existence of foreigners. In fact, it might even prove to be quite beneficial. That board of inquiry can stuff it! Those paper-pushing high and mighty desk jockeys must think we're nothing more than mindless watchdogs. Aren't we? Hmm? We are supposed to be Paradigm's watchdogs, right? Sir, I don't follow you. To put it simply, Dustin, I'm taking you off the investigation as of this moment. I assume the inquiry committee is pressuring you. Consider it a paid vacation. Go take it easy for a while. Major Dustin. One of these days you need to learn what justice is really about. Well, sir, as far as I'm concerned, I understand it perfectly.
terrorist bomber struck again. His mark, another elderly retired government employee. 26 passengers on a nearby city bus were also lost in the explosion, as well as a young police officer who was on guard duty. Arby's Italian Beef and Provolone with oven roasted beef marinated in Italian seasonings plus authentic provolone, all on a bakery soft baguette. If you haven't tried one, you don't know what you're missing. What are you eating today? Rewind, one of five ways to control time. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, rated T for teen. The Ultimate Power Trio, Chevelle, Wonder What's Next, The Platinum Album, Live from the Road, The New Live CD, and Live from the Norva, The New Live DVD. Get all three in stores now. Meet Glitch, armed with an arsenal of 17 deadly weapons, the ability to hijack evil bots to do his dirty work, and a passion for pummeling opponents in multiplayer mayhem. This bot's got nuts of steel. Metal Arms, Rated Team. The most powerful game system now has the ultimate holiday offer. Get Tetris Worlds and Star Wars, The Clone Wars, two months of Xbox Live and an Xbox for only what? Rated E to T. Xbox, it's good to play together. Traffic's really backed up out there today. Cars are lined up for months. Hey, buddy. to be impressed. Get the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen on DVD for your home. Available December 16th at Target. rock slides and more in 1080 avalanche this time the mountain hits back ready for everyone never had a guest visit this late before. And somehow I doubt that you came here to talk about a job offer, eh, Major? Sorry, my feet just seem to bring me here. Yeah, it happens to everyone sometimes. I don't remember when I first saw it, but I know that the dream is based on a scene from an old movie I watched when I was a kid. It's bone-chilling cold as snow falls softly onto a winter sea.
The woman is shot, presumably by the man she loves. Buzet si gentil. It sounds like a language from some other country, probably where the movie was made. And this woman you dreamt about, you believe you saw her in the flesh? Go ahead and laugh. The whole thing sounds ridiculous. Maybe I'm delusional or starting to lose it. <clears throat> Dan, I'm not laughing, and if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Hmm. <laughs> you being charitable by taking pity on your old boss? No. I'm simply a friend who likes to meddle. Here. Dustin returned to duty several days later. That was considered highly irregular, but no one voiced any complaints about it. In this city, the decisions handed down by a certain man are law. But at this point, I don't care about that. As a professional, I just try to do my best. And the woman Dawson saw, even if it turns out that she's only an illusion, he'll still have to find an answer that'll satisfy him. <laughs> Toy balloons and soldiers, a perfectly mismatched scene. Oliver Garland, a senior counselor of the Justice Department, is going to be giving a speech tonight to a crowd of children. I hear he represents the management of the amusement park. At a dangerous time like this? I think the smartest thing to do would be to call it off. It's baffling how a politician's mind works. All we can do is diligently carry out our duties as we're sworn to do. That's something that's never changed about you. Roger. Just tell me what you found out already. Neither of us came all the way here so you could sharpen your sarcastic wit on me. Based on what you told me, I came up with this. The woman in your dreams was an actress named Sybil Rowan. She only starred in one movie by the title of Winter Night Phantom. But no film prints exist anymore. The government ordered them all to be burned 30 years ago. I learned that when Paradigm City was founded, the counselors at the time who assisted the original chairman, Gordon Rosewater, expelled everyone from the city who was suspected of having anti-government leanings. Including that woman, Sybil. Her beauty made her a symbol for the anti-government groups. Under extreme pressure, officials had her arrested. It's rumored she was thrown into prison. Huh? where she lived out the rest of her days. You mean? She's gone. But there was also an interesting rumor. I heard Sybil Rowan was from another country, someplace far, far away. <laughs> Nobody knows much about her now. Those were all the facts I could dig up. As for your mystery woman, I still have... Forget it. You've done enough. I'll repay you later. Okay. You can buy me a drink sometime. swept the area for concealed explosives and found nothing. Correct. Even if a terrorist does try to get in, he'll never be able to get through our security. We're ready for him. Good heavens, what was that?
crude entrance, but an appropriate one for pathetic foreigners, wouldn't you say? No one here. Then where? Oh. It can't be. Finally meet. Just who are you, huh? A phantom. A phantom? I am the one who can grant eternal sleep to an accursed past. Uh -oh. <sighs> I don't believe it. That robot is a walking bomb. <sighs> I can't just go and swing in then, can I? Lady, I don't know what you're after, but I'm not gonna let you get away with it. You're taking the lives of innocent people, plain and simple. You pathetic paradigm lapdog. Say what you like, but even this old hound has his pride. That helped out. you do it? Mm. I merely did what I felt was right and what I thought must be done. We both did our duty. That's all it amounts to. It's strange. I felt as though it would turn out like this for a long, long time. I've known too for as long as I can remember. Are you crying? There is no record of Sybil Rowan ever having a young daughter. Not to mention... Nah. Regardless of what the truth might be, there's no reason to keep digging up a buried past. For Dan Dostin, those memories of a day long ago may have been merely an illusion.
one seed. Fitness Made Simple videos are reshaping bodies and changing lives. Unlike all the quick fix pills, potions, and gadgets that reduce our wallets more than our waistlines, Fitness Made Simple is real and it delivers real results. It really works. I start and end my day with Fitness Made Simple. It works for me. That was me 70 pounds ago. This is me now. Fitness Made Simple works. It worked for me. It's working for thousands of men and women nationwide. And it can work for you too. Order today and get two videos for the price of one. Oh, hello. I just need someone to come out and fix my satellite dish. I, I already called the satellite Yeah, company. you guys installed it. Who should I you call? You did. Because what? I, I You're like the third person I spoke to today. That's you. Well, no, there are no trees blocking um, the dish. I spoke to them you already. You want me to climb up on the roof right. and look at the... 48 hours. No. Uh, no, please, please don't, don't put me on hold again. Okay, I'll hold. Time Warner Cable. Sure, I can help you. Meet Glitch. Armed with an arsenal of 17 deadly weapons, the ability to hijack evil bots to do his dirty work, and a passion for pummeling opponents in multiplayer mayhem. This bot's got nuts of steel. Metal Arms, rated teen. Yeah, things are under control here. Yeah, we had popcorn for dinner. No, popcorn chicken from KFC. It is so not a nugget. KFC's popcorn chicken is 100% chicken breast. To get an individual for $1.99 or party size for $6.99, you got a KFC what's cooking. After a 20-year sibling rivalry, Mario and Luigi team up using synchronized super moves in their most ridiculous adventure ever. Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga. Rated E for everyone. It's here! The new AOL disc is here. Can't believe that it's done. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. That's AOL 9.0 Optimize you've got there. It's Jerry Stiller. You've been getting lots of discs, I know. But you got to give 9.0 a spin. Try it. I'll bet you'll be using an old Snoop Dogg CD to finish that lot work. <laughs> now wait just one manizzle. <laughs> Satisfaction guaranteed for 90 days or your money back. Do you wish you had some hilarious Adult Swim DVDs of your very own? It's about time. Now your wish can come true with these hilarious new DVD sets featuring Space Ghost and Aqua Teen Hunger Force available now at AdultSwim.com. Two, count them, two, two hilarious discs in each set. They out of their mind? Each box set features 16 full episodes. You're not a tall move, huh? Creator commentary. What's up with that? Special guests. Space Ghost, Space Ghost. He's got muscles that you can't see. Man, I feel better already. <laughs> Lost scenes. Now let's go ahead and torch them, Donnie. Run! And that's not all. Oh my god! Visit adultswim.com to order your Space Coaster Aqua Teen Hunger Force Volume 1 DVD set today. But wait, there's more. Hilarity, that is. If you order now, we'll throw in a special Adult Swim gift. A Space Ghost or Aqua Teen t-shirt for you to wear while you're watching your Space Ghost or Aqua Teen Volume 1 DVD box set. Order now on adultswim.com. You might want to talk to a customer service rep about that. Look at Zoe's tiny feet. So tiny. And her tiny hands. Teeny tiny. And her tiny head. <laughs> That's your opinion. Most beautiful baby in the world checking out. You know, everyone said this whole giving birth thing was so traumatic. I don't know, I feel great. Uh-huh. Honey? Still a little shaky. Better get used to it. I read the average child costs three hundred thousand dollars to raise. 
I'll be so blue Thinking Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree. Nice. Uh-huh. You know, I really want to expose Zoe to good music. Yeah, and not just music. The best food, the best books, the best everything. And no TV. What do you mean, no TV? Just what I said. You know, I don't think we should completely shelter Zoe. We'll teach her to choose. Of course. She can watch anything she wants on PBS. Look, if another network's logo's on the screen, we get up, we turn off the set. Hmm. I think maybe a parent's job is to put as many different opportunities in front of the child as they can. You know, see what happens. Uh, see what happens? Let her explore who she is inside. Whether it's a poet, a pro athlete, a fireman. Uh-huh, right. Um, those are bad examples, but I mean, sure, anything. What? She couldn't be a fireman? <laughs> yeah, let's send our daughter into burning buildings. She's gonna want some excitement in her life if all she can watch is PBS. You know, I think we're saying the same thing. We both want what's best for Zoe. Yeah. Let's just do this right. We owe it to that little girl in the back seat. Here we are. Home sweet home. Hello, Megan. Shelby. Rodney. What's that? It's our new baby. What are you calling it? Zoe. Pfft, that's stupid. <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. That means it don't got a wiener. <laughs> he said wiener. <laughs> yep, he's a comic genius. I know where babies come from. That's nice. Megan and Shelby came out of my mom's stomach, but I came out of her butt. <laughs> Hey, Charlie, we have to introduce her to Charlie. Come here, boy. Where's my buddy? <laughs> okay, I've put a lot of thought into the organization of Zoe's changing table. Items are placed according to two criteria, frequency of use and level of difficulty, with the latter placed near the right hand. So... Our nearer items are wipes, diapers, and lotions with diapers, since they require some tab manipulation, placed to the right. If we stick to it, she'll probably toilet train early, like I did. And, uh, we all know what kind of advantage that gives a person in life. <laughs> we do? Sure. Uh, label side out, honey. Zoe, what are you doing? Our, Our first, first change. change. Daryl and Wanda, it all comes down to this moment. Baby wipe off the Wanda. She goes into her spin. Now if the tabs hold... Yes! Talent, teamwork, and that elusive something called magic. Here come the judges' scores. All sixes. That puts Daryl and Wanda in the lead ahead of Enog and Yuri Kolyopov. It was a perfect day today, wasn't it? She is a perfect baby. Yeah, and tomorrow, we'll go out and we'll get everything we need for a perfect Christmas. We can do this. Ha, <laughs> piece of cake. She's fine.
finally stopped crying. What time is it? Time to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, uh, wouldn't it make more sense to put the wipes on top of the diapers since, you know, we'll need them first? It just seems to me... Fine. Do it. Hey, neighbors. Hi, Rex. Hi, Josie. Is that your baby? Wow, she's beautiful. Thanks. What are you guys doing? We're off for a week of skiing at Telluride. We just decided to go this morning. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> oh, you guys are so lucky. We're so envious. See ya! <laughs> you feeling the Christmas spirit yet, hon? <gasps> Look! There's a lady backing out! Go! 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 <laughs> Woo! Yes! I win! In your face, Reverend! Don't you ever drive like that. Wow. <laughs> These are so expensive. Ew. Who paid 40 bucks for this tacky thing? <laughs> <laughs> Let them in, Daryl. They want to see their granddaughter. Promise you'll try to get along with my mother. How about if I just get along with your father? Well, that's easy. He never says anything. Yeah, because your mom won't let him. Well, you know, I wouldn't mind it if your dad said a little less. Oh, he's not that bad. So there I am, right? I'm on the green about mm, 40 feet from the cup. Now, I would have been happy with a two-putt, but that little white ball didn't stop rolling till it went in that little round hole. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, sweetie? You're hungry, aren't you? Here you are. I hope you're not giving in to her every time she cries. You'll never get her on a schedule. Four-day-old doesn't need a schedule. Right, Mac? We've decided you really can't spoil a baby in the first year. Right, honey? Well, uh, my mom could have a point. Daryl! I'm just saying, maybe Zoe could use a little more structure. That's right. We had Daryl on the schedule from day one. <laughs> yeah, and now we can't walk past the refrigerator without straightening the magnets. Hey! Meet the McPherson family! Daryl, Pauline, and Mac! And the Wazowski family! Wanda, Maggie, and Hugh! All right, we're looking for the number one answer to this question. In what ways are Daryl and Wanda the worst parents in the world? Not setting up a college fund. Using cheap diapers. Using cheap diapers. Survey says... <laughs> person family, same question. Ooh, keeping a filthy house. Show me filthy house! <laughs> Daryl and Wanda, come on out here. Is Zoe receiving... Too much coddling or not enough attention? Uh, too much coddling. Not enough attention? One of us has to be right. No, don't you understand? You, you can't win. Wanda? Yeah? I'm sorry I didn't back you up. I'm sorry about the refrigerator magnet crack. I think maybe we just have different ideas of how to be parents. That's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? I guess not. I suppose my being organized balances your being sloppy. Yeah, and it's good that one of us is relaxed. Imagine if we were both anal and uptight. Yes, imagine. Anal and uptight. Huh. Could you get that, sweetie? But it's your turn, sweetie. But I really need my sleep, sweetie. I'm going back to work tomorrow, remember? Night. Oh.
here and glider. Thank you for the tube socks. For the earmuffs. The piggyback. The pink sweater. For the tops. Didn't get what you wanted for the holidays? <laughs> then go and get what you really want. Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Buy it on DVD and video today. Ow. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Majin Boo, Super Boo, Kid Boo. <laughs> Evil comes in three new flavors. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 for the PlayStation 2 console. If you've got a favorite character, you've got to fight. Rated T for Teen. Do you like chocolate? Great news. The baby shaped diapers, Huggy Supreme diapers, curve just like your baby. Now offer a whole new way to help stop leaks. Triple leak protection, only with Huggy Supreme. There are three leak guards. They hug each leg, follow every curve for outstanding protection from leaks. Get a triple hug from Improved Huggy Supreme. Nothing hugs like Huggy. Hey, that thing got a Emmy? You're about to find out. Dodge Ram with the legendary Hemi. Loved by those who have one, dreamt about by those who don't. Sweet! Wanda's Baby Journal, Day One. Up all night. Housework all day. Zoe didn't sleep well. Joy to the world! The teachers said we barbecue your head. Hi, Melinda. I want to have the baby. She's okay. Your kids are wonderful. Boy, sometimes they misbehave and you gotta make them mind. Actually, ever since Daryl went back to work, it's been kind of tense. <clears throat> How do you deal with it? You find ways. Phone! Oh. Hey, Dad, you like seafood? Oh, seafood! Get in the house. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hi, Carl. So, uh, any tips for a new parent? Always watch your bag. Don't show any sign of weakness. You blink first, it's over. Rodney! You shoot me one more time and the rifle stand I got you for Christmas is going right back to Walmart. What's happening, Captain? Hi, Kenny. You look tired, buddy boy. I was sitting up half the night with Zoe. I see. <coughs> Very admirable. What was that? What was what? You called me a wuss. You're getting paranoid, buddy boy. Well, one good thing about the middle of the night, that's when all the sexy TV shows are on. Yeah, I, 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 I can't watch them. Wife won't let you, huh? No, no, actually, it was my idea. You see, we're only going to expose Zoe to the best programs. Really? Anyways, <coughs> good for you. Look, I want to take an active role in raising my daughter, and late night feedings are a very important bonding time. Ah! I never did any of that stuff, and I'm very close to both my kids. You've got three children, Kenny. I, uh... Oh, yeah, three. And I know it's tough for Wanda to be stuck at home all day, but hey, I gotta make a living, don't I? Absolutely. Instead of making us feel guilty, our wives should kiss the ground we walk on for coming down here and busting our humps all day. Come on, the office Christmas party start. You know, when I was a little girl, I liked Ernie best because he was so nice. But now I think I prefer Bert. He's got that serious thing going, and I've always preferred taller guys, and I'm actually finding myself attracted to a felt puppet. Are you making me lose my mind? Oh, your first spit bubble. 
Zoe, that was amazing! And I was here to see it! I'm gonna call Daddy right now and tell him what a talented little girl he has. Poor Daryl. Stuck in that mean old office, missing all these little miracles. He works hard all day, and when he gets home, I just hand over the baby and say, Your turn. He's the nicest guy in the world, and I'm a wicked witch! <laughs> Well, I'm going to make it up to him. I'm going to stay up with Zoe tonight so he can get the sleep he deserves. Hello? Is Daryl McPherson there? Oh, yeah, he's at the karaoke machine. Now, listen. Saturday night. Swinging night. Coming up next on PBS, part six of Magna Carta, the living document. They're the hottest cops on the beach, fighting the bad guys with teamwork, technology, and rock-hard sexy abs. Gee, the orphans sure like their Christmas presents. They sure did. Hey, that surfer's in trouble. Nothing. I thought you said we weren't going to expose Zoe to this kind of trash. Trash? This is only the most popular program in the world, and it happens to teach some very important lessons. Maybe next time you won't go surfing at Dead Surfer Point. See? You are such a hypocrite. Mr. I only watch PBS. I'm a perfect parent. I was bored. I get bored too, but I watch Sesame Street. I've seen the way you look at Bert. Gee, it must be really nice to make all these rules for me to follow while you goof off at work all day. Oh, I've been one rule and now all rules are bad? Oh, please. No, no, you're right. We'll do it your way. No more rules. Hey, Zoe, good news. All that stuff about baths and vaccines and college funds, all gone. Too anal and uptight. We're just gonna see what happens. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Psst. Hey, kid, you waiting up for Santa Claus? Yeah, me too. Tonight, I'm getting proof. <laughs> Rodney, are you still up? Hey, listen, I heard you crying. Quality work. See, you drive mom and dad nuts, they pay attention. Just don't let up. They start to think it's easy, and pop, pop, you got a little sister and a little brother, and you're yesterday's whip piece. Oh, come on, it's all right. Don't worry, shorty. You play your cards right. You stay in on the child. Rodney, go to bed. Now. Okay! <sighs> Remember, don't make it easy. I don't know why she's so fussy tonight. Cranky, too. This is crazy. Want to try taking her for a drive? Hey, Charlie. You, you want to come in? Mom, when did you get in the car? That's a mirror, honey. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> hey! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Well, I'm sure most new parents are going through this. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Over the fields we go, laughing all the way Daryl, she's asleep. 
I'll turn around at the next exit and we'll head home. Do we have to go back? I, I just can't face it right now. Fine with me. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Well, this is straight out of Courier and Ives. Nothing says Christmas like diesel fumes and butt cracks. <laughs> oh, we'll make the next one better, Zoe. We promise. Hello there, Madge. Well, hey, stranger. Looks like I'm not the only one who had a long night. Where are you folks from? About 200 miles that way. Baby wouldn't sleep, huh? Yeah, I guess we kind of missed out on Christmas this year. Oh, I don't know. New baby, long journey to a humble place. <laughs> Sounds like the Christmas story to me. me Merry Christmas, folks. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. See you, Madge. Don't you work too hard, Chris. Oh, 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 oh. Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. You're giving her a french fry? Oh, right. We made some kind of rule about that, didn't we? Well, you know, we've broken every other rule. <laughs> yeah, may as well go for a perfect record. <gasps> Daryl! Do you see that? She smiled. She actually smiled. Maybe we don't suck as parents. You know... I think we've been worrying too much about the right way to raise her. Yeah, all she really needs is love. And the occasional deep fried snack. And maybe a little structure. Or not. It's an old time. When Zoe smiled, I think it was the best Christmas present I ever got. Me too. Let's have another baby. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding! Wanda, I'm... That was... holidays with now that's what i call christmas 36 christmas wishes from some of your favorite artists come together on two cds to celebrate this joyous time of year with your paid order of now that's what i call christmas you'll also receive this embroidered velvet gift bag free a perfect gift for giving or for holding your christmas treasures Chestnuts roasting. Now that's what I call Christmas. 36 timeless holiday classics on two CDs. Frost nipping. To order now that's what I call Christmas, call the number on your screen or send check or money order for $19.98 for two CDs plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address shown. And with your paid order, you'll receive the velvet gift bag free. Must be 18 or order to call. This just in from Greyhound. <clears throat> to save big bucks, just take the bus. No, we're not nuts, just 15 bucks. With buses rolling 24-7, Greyhound has fares starting at $15 to hundreds of places. So go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. If you were born between 1918 and 1963, call now to get free information about the Silver Care Plan. The average funeral now costs over $6,000. But your survivors may only be able to receive government death benefits of up to $300, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. You can protect your loved ones with the Silver Care Plan. It pays tax-free cash that can be used for final and any other expenses. The last thing I'd want to do is leave my wife or kids with bills. It's easy to get, and you don't even have to take a medical exam. In times like these, it's so important to plan ahead. With the Silver Care Plan, your rates will never increase, 
your plan cannot be canceled and coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. By starting now, you can lock in the lowest rate possible. With the Silver Care plan, I didn't have to worry about anything. You also get a free planning guide to carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want it to be. It's easy to use and easy to understand. It gives me peace of mind knowing everything is taken care of and nothing is left to chance. The Silver Care Plan is something we'll all someday need. To get free information about the plan and its benefits, call the toll-free number on your screen. Call 1-800-441-2400. That's 1-800-441-2400. Call now. This year, I'm hosting the MLs for the holidays, which means that if the turkey isn't perfect, my goose is cooked. So I'm shopping Food Lion. They've got great turkeys, roasts, hams, everything for the holidays, with lots of fresh produce, goodies, and deli trays, all at extra low Food Lion prices. I saved enough to get a new tablecloth. Well, almost new. Get picture messaging from Verizon Wireless and let the games begin. Good dog. Get unlimited picture messaging for just $4.99 monthly access through March 31st from the provider of the nation's largest, most reliable wireless network. Picture messaging from Verizon Wireless. You want action? We got more wrecks than racing. More competition than baseball, football, basketball, hockey combined. Their season stopped for months at a time. Our season started 11 years ago. You want drama? We got more drama than a 14-year-old girl who just got dumped by her boyfriend, lost her pet cat, and discovered a zit the size of Mount Kilimanjaro. You want dysfunction? In our world, the only place to settle differences is in the ring, not in a court, not in a family meeting, just with brute force. Come to think of it, that's a great idea. This is who we are, we're raw, and we like it that way. WWE Raw, only on Spike TV. Enjoy your new Durango. Oh, look, it's got a DVD. And see how smooth the ride is for you and Fluffy. Liz, what are you doing to him? I'm just showing little Joey the new Durango. Son, there's only one thing you need to know. Hemi. Can you say Hemi? Hemi. That's my boy. The all-new Dodge Durango. Big size, smooth ride. Hemi power. Starting under 26.6. Now through the trusted name of Turner Broadcasting, holiday shopping for you and your family becomes as easy as turnershop.com. Choose from the vast library of timelike music and videos, health and fitness items, cooking aids, insurance, kids products, and much, much more. We have all these great items you've seen on TBS, TNT, CNN, and Cartoon Network. Just log on to turnershop.com anytime, day or night. You'll find what you're shopping for at turnershop.com. I'm not one of these guys who, like, loved the internet until I found out there was pornography on it. Now I am on the internet a lot. A lot. I would say, out of the 22 hours that I am awake during the day, during any given day, I am on the internet about 11 hours. I don't sleep much. Um, anyway, you get the point. It was funny, but not to me. Oh, oh, and then at lunch, I had a whole tray of jello, and wouldn't you know it, Dora pulled my pants down again. Man, there was jello everywhere. Yes, even there. What the hell are you doing? Doop! D um, Dora, how, 
How long you been there? Long enough to see you talking to that doll. I was doing no such thing. If, however, I was talking and my childhood friend Hippo happened to be listening... What Hippo? That's a lobster. Maybe so. But he prefers to be called Hippo. Yes. Do you know what people would say if they knew I hung out with a doll talker? I imagine they'd say, Zorak, you're so lucky to have a friend like Brack. He's quite a guy. I don't hang out with doll talkers. Ever. So long, wuss. Wait, don't go! Oh man, what am I gonna do? You see, there's something about his red and kindly face. I can tell him anything. But then there's Zorak, he thinks I'm a baby! Yeah! But I'll show him that I'm not! Alright! I've made a decision. From this day on, I will stop talking to my beloved friend. Hippo. Not good enough. Get rid of him. What? I thought I just had to stop talking to him. Look, it's him or me. <sighs> then I guess it's gonna have to be me. Meaning you. I'm sorry, Hippo. I'm so sorry. Come on, Fuzzy. We're going for a little ride. His name's not Fuzzy, it's Hippo! Shut up! <sighs> Zorak's probably right. I'm too old to be talking to stupid stuffed toys, even if they are sensitive and excellent listeners. The time has come for me to take off my boyhood and put on my manhood! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, man. You know, Mother, if I had a brother, I would like to have him live by the ocean so we could come and visit him on vacation. What am I saying? We'd probably fight and argue like we did growing up. He was such a jerk. That's it. Call my brother on the telephone and tell him we are not coming. He is dead to me now. Hippo! 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 Honey, I think there's something wrong with Brack. There's something wrong with all of us, darling. Finally, my own office. You see, Mother, I told you if we were patient, we wouldn't have to add on. Oh, enough of that. I'm half kidding. What do you people want from me? What's the problem, dear? I never should have let Zorak talk me into getting rid of my wonderful friend, Hippo. Who did what now? Zorak, did you take Brack's toy? I did not. Where is it? I can't remember. Zorak. All right, I threw him in a garbage can somewhere. I want you to go find him and bring him back. Or what? Or you even you want to understand. You're bluffing. Try me. All right, come on, Darla. Let's go find your dolly. Okay, give me ten bucks. I'm going to the dog track. You said you were going to help me find Hippo. I say a lot of things. Now give me the money! But this is for college! Swipe. No, I'll never be a barber. I <sighs> guess I'll start looking for Hippo. Looking, looking, looking. Looking, looking, looking. Looking, looking. Everywhere. But not there. <sighs> Tell me there's a home to stop. I'll keep on and never stop. Looking. It's hopeless. I'm never going to find him. What's wrong? Brack from down the street? Oh, hi, Mr. Thundercleed. I'm looking for my little stuffed friend Hippo, but he's nowhere to be found. Long ago, I too had a stuffed companion. His name was Chopper. One day, he was abducted by gypsies. I never saw him again. Oh, did you see him again? Did I not just tell you no? Must I repeat the whole story? What story? Please leave. Yeah. I guess I'll just go home and weep myself to sleep. Ugh. I'm blocked up with cream and rum. I want to back off from that first thing in the morning. <sighs> Did you have any luck, Peanut Head? No, Mom. I'll never see Tippo again. Uh, who is Tippo? My lost friend. It hurts too much to say his real name. 
And that is? Hippo. Oh, man! <laughs> I made you say it! Now give me your college money. That's gone, too. I've lost everything! Well, maybe this will cheer you up. Wow, who's that young gentleman? His name is Dr. Grumbles. Isn't he just the cutest thing? Where'd you get him? Oh, from a stinky old gypsy I met at the bus stop. How much did this Professor Grumbles here cost me? Nothing. It was free. The stinky old gypsy seemed quite happy to be rid of it. Probably because it's cursed. Oh, and I'm sure you could have done better. Oh, no, no, baby, baby, don't be mad. Come over here, let Daddy make it right. Come on. Okay, then maybe some other time. Don't count on it. Okay, Brack, here's Dr. Grumbles. I hope you like him. Oh, I will, Mom. I like him already. Oh, the doctor's in the house. Right here in my room. How do you do? My name is Brack. Dr. Grumbles, I presume. And I'm all fucking. I can feel the fucking monkey. What? He's in the house. Boy, we're sure having fun, aren't we, Dr. Grumbles? Last time I had this much fun, I was face down in a peach pie, eating my way to freedom. Oh, look at the doll talker, talking to his little doll. He happens to be a doctor. Where'd you get it? My mom gave him to me. Yeah? Well, hand it over. But we were just getting acquainted. Why are you doing this to me? Because I'm just plain mean. Oh... All right, fine. I'll just find somebody else to hang out with. <sighs> go ahead, then. Take him. I'm gonna go cry myself up a snack. You do that. Just don't rat me out to your old lady. She's crazy. Hey, I know what you did to the hippo. Who said that? I did, ugly boy. You mess with me, you be sorry. Oh, yeah? I know some bad people like to break things. Green things. <laughs> You're bluffing. Let's go, jerk. You be sorry. I'm telling you, you mess with a doctor, you messing with dark powers. Like what? Well, uh, I not tell you. It's a secret. How about that, eh? How you like that, Dingleberry? You are so dead. Jerk. Well, Brack seems to be his old self again, now that he has a new friend to play with. Yes, Dr. Grumbles truly has become one of the family. He is like the stuffed toy doctor son I never had. Where's Brack? He's in his room. Send up my lunch. What the hell? Oh, hi, Zorak. Hey, thanks for not taking Dr. Grumbles. What a buddy. I don't get it. I blew you to freaking kingdom come. Yet, here I am, listening to the wind blow through your empty head. Yeah, well, you're going down, pal. Zorak, who are you talking to? Do we have a new member of the Doll Talkers Club? <laughs> Shut up! Zorak's mad as hell, and this time, it's personal. <laughs> you're a punk. Great tribes of Gondor! I can't believe it! Chopper, where have you been? Well, I tell you, long story short, I was kidnapped, went to night school, became doctor, ticked off gypsies, and here I am. Hand him over to me! You mind if I burn him first? Oh, he's going to burn me. I'm so frightened. Whoever will help me? Take him out. Shoot me and the dog gets it. Shoot him, Thunder, please. Go for the head. But what if I hit you? Do it! Take the shot! And so, Brack, there comes a time when you must take off the soft furry slippers of a boy and put on the shoes of a man. Unless, of course, they don't fit properly and your feet blister up like bubble wrap. Oh, but don't try to return the shoes because they won't take them back once you've worn them. Especially not if that fat pig Tony is at the desk. Do you understand what I'm saying, son? Brack's not here, dear. He, he ran out screaming hours ago. Oh, uh, well then... Do you understand what I'm saying, Mother? I've come back, Mother and Father. And I know now that you can't run away from your troubles. Stuff it, doll talker! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, look at this. Your old friend Hippo is going to have his own TV show. Show us your garbage starring Hippo. Taping today at 4 o'clock. Brack, why don't you go down to the TV station and see him? Smudging idea, Mummy!
I think we should all go. Everyone except me. Show us your garbage, show us your trash. If Pippo likes it, you win some cash. So show us your garbage, ready, set, go. It's time to meet the star of our show. Here's Hippo, Hippo, here's Hippo, Hippo, here's Hippo, he's a hell of a guy. Is your dessert so boring, it's left your family snoring? Not anymore. Introducing the Original Chocolate Factory, the fun, easy way to turn ordinary into extraordinary desserts. Just place in store-bought chocolate, select your favorite treat, then simply dip it, dunk it, fill it, or pour it. Look, regular pots burn chocolate, but Chocolate Factory's double boiler is two pans in one. The bottom simmers water while the top quickly melts chocolate into a smooth and creamy sensation. Chocolate Factory includes this dipping spoon, perfect for nuts, candies, or succulent strawberries. This dipping fork, ideal for pretzels, bananas, or mouth-watering macaroons. And the kids will love this. Just fill the designer mold and presto, snowmen during the holidays. Dark chocolate flowers for a bridal shower. American flags on the 4th of July. Even teddy bears and fancy seashells are yours. And watch, place in these sticks, and in no time you've got a lovely heart-shaped lollipop. Or treat your house guest to a gourmet mixing spoon. The Chocolate Factory comes with 25 clear wraps and 25 ties to create the ultimate gift basket. You also get this perfect pour bottle to write your name on a cake, neatly fill a mold, or decorate a dessert plate. This dip and pour ladle to drizzle chocolate on a cake, easily top an ice cream sundae, or create tasty caramel turtles. Chocolate Factory is also great for caramel, fudge, or cheese fondue. Look, this costs $55 at the store, but with the Chocolate Factory, you can make your own for a fraction of the price. Call now and receive the complete Chocolate Factory kit with this dipping dessert guide. That's over 85 pieces for only $19.95. And here's a bonus, two deep chocolate cup molds. Make a peanut butter surprise. Fill them with fruits, candies, or chocolate mousse. Yours free. It's a $60 value, all yours for just $19.95. So call now. Call 1-800-592-3388 and order the Chocolate Factory for $19.95. Reward yourself with tempting chocolate creation. Must be 18 or older to order. I got your wrist thingies, mate. But hey, Archie, these are soul caliber fighters. They all got blades and sticks and such. Go in with just those. Your history, my son. What you need, Marshima san if I may. <laughs> The wait's over. Soul Calibur 2 puts the weapons back in your hands, featuring classic Soul Calibur fighters, new warriors, and over 10 modes of play. And exclusively on PlayStation 2, Tekken's Hihachi unleashes his rage. <laughs> All right, oh, no blades for you then. Soul Calibur 2, rated T for Teen. You know, delivering everything on the Adult Swim Ultimate Holiday Wishlist isn't all ho, ho, ho. It's hard work. Shop the Ultimate Holiday Wishlist on AdultSwim.com. If you're going to wish, wish big. You know, the big man wouldn't be so jolly if he had to lift all this stuff. I have a couple of goals in my life. I think, you know, there's a few things I want to do before I die. One, I want to fly on the Concorde. Two, I want to learn Japanese. Not that I care about Japan or anything or about their culture, it's just that I was at a Japanese restaurant and I saw this a-hole, obviously American, ordering in Japanese and I wanted to do that. And the third thing I'd like to do, I want to visit the former Soviet Union. This one time, get this, I was having drinks with a lava chicken. Oh, shut up. You're just mad because you don't have a story. No, a story is usually something with, oh, I don't know, a point. Right, Maltar? Wait a minute, where's Maltar? Uh, on vacation? I allow vacations? Sure. Since when? Since, uh, that... Time, you know, when we had that guest on, the the vacation lady. Oh, right, the vacation lady. What a knockout! Oof. 
Reminded me of Maud Adams and Octopussy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, nice chatting with you. Huh? Hey, well, I, I, I gotta go. It's time for my vacation, too. Not so fast, Bug. Ow! What have you done with Maltar? <laughs> Nothing. What do you care anyway? You hate Maltar. Do I, Zorak? Do I? Yes. Ow! Was that really necessary? No. Hang on, Maltar. Daddy's coming to save ya. <laughs> Welcome to Zorak Coast to Coast. Tell me your name, human flea, before I melt your eyes and use them for shoe shine. David Crane. Lucky guess. What's your occupation, meatbag? I'm co-founder of Activision and currently chief technical officer of Skyworks Technologies. <laughs> you look like you work at a radio shack. Die, stock boy! Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a couple of nine volts on you. I can't help you out there. As I searched for Maltar, Zorak's words echoed in my mind. What do you care anyway? You hate Maltar! And he's right. I do hate Maltar. But I have spent a lot of years with that backstabbing mutant, making the finest late-night talk show in basic cable history. Could it be that time has made me hate him... less? Why? 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 Listen up, Crane. I'm taking over this joint, and you're gonna help me do it. I got ten legions of mantis men ready to seize control of the planet and stand on Space Ghost's head while I chew his fingers off. What do you got? We have Space Invaders, we have Missile Command, we have... Who's the we? Are you psychotic? Any one of which could get you to your planet. It is my planet. Mine, mine, mine. Bow before the mighty Zorak. Kneel. Kneel. Kneel, 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 kneel! I... I feel so empty. Why? Why? This is terrible. How can you go on making the finest late-night talk show in basic cable history without Moltar, your trusty technical director and comedic foil? I... I don't know. Get your head together, son. Maltar is your sworn enemy. Sure, it's fun filling his helmet with lighter fluid and making him dodge Roman candles, but he's always trying to kill you and mess up your show. If anything, you hate him more. You're right, me. I do hate Maltar more. When I find him, I'm gonna kick his ass. You guys good with that? Great plan. We good. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, you check around the studio before you went flying off into space, genius? Shut up, me. Anybody pack a lunch? Okay, then, it's a deal. I get to keep everything. Everything is mine. And I rule with an iron fist. And if you're lucky, I'll toss you a cheeseburger for your troubles, fatty. Sure, cheeseburgers be fine. <laughs> You're a compliant little minion. Maybe someday I'll let you rule the dark side of the ghost planet. Well, in the dark, I suppose you don't need pants. Maltar! You fiend! I've been scouring the outer reaches of the ghost nebula looking for your sorry butt all day. What? I was on the can. Oh, yeah, likely story. Who died and made you the potty police? That does it. Oh, it's on. Uh... Go for the windpipe. And to think, uh, I thought, oh, I hated you less. I can't believe you went. Uh, Look at for me. I didn't want to tear your lungs out and stomp on them. I'd be touched. I... No. It's completely out of character for me to care. Even a wit about you. I feel so out manipulated. Zorak. Uh-oh.
like you didn't see that coming. And welcome back for another installment of this dog and pony show we lovingly call Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Ooh. Anybody else get goosebumps? <laughs> You're such a putz. Zorak, there's nothing you can say to bring me down from the natural high that one comes from me hearing the sound of my own voice and two being the recipient of the Intergalactic Association of Broadcasters Golden Throaty Award for Most Pleasing Voice. Late Night Talk Show. Basic Cable Category. Would you just shut up about it already? <laughs> and deprive my audience of the mellifluous tones for which this award was so richly deserved? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Seriously, I'm this close to snapping. Snap away, he'll, bud. He'll get to you in a minute. You I swear. Anyway. <gasps> I ought to come over there and paste one on you, throaty boy. So, uh, I got a metal band myself. Yeah, we we call ourselves the Magma Smashers, and, um, well, we, we, we rock wicked hard. And, well, I can send you a demo if, if, if you want. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Today we have a very special guest. Dee Snyder of that gender-bending smooth jazz quartet, Twisted Sister. <laughs> you are a putz. It's sickening. Both of you will speak only when spoken to. So saith the golden throat. Zorak Moltar, haven't you just had it with Space Ghost's arrogant attitude? He's so condescending, he talks down to you. I don't know who you think you are, mister. You realize you're talking to the winner of a Golden Throaty Award? Maltar, where's D. Snyder? That is D. Snyder. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, it is. It's me, Space Ghost. Me who? If you're you, you would look like this. <laughs> Everyone knows that. It is D. Snyder. You just sit without the makeup, your little throne, and the costume, the shoulder pads, the hair's here. I just, you know, unlike yourself, a man who always wears his costume, I only wear mine when I'm performing on stage. Uh-huh. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard that flimsy story, I'd have, um... Moltar, how much would I have? Sixty-three bucks. Uh, two more and I'll sell you my old iPod. Huh. Tempting. Uh, not really. Listen, friend, if you are who you say you are, prove it. Sing something for Daddy. I want to rock! Mm, I'm not convinced. But if you really are D. Snyder, then welcome to the show! Well, uh, are you really Space Ghost? Well, are you really D. Snyder? We have a problem, Space Ghost? I mean, I, I sense a little tension here. It looks like, is it go time? Well, that would depend on where you want to go. Do I got to come down there and we got to throw down, you and me? Hermano, hermano? You think you could take me? I'm a superhero, D. I have a little something called superpowers. I'm not just about the fantastic award-winning voice. Well, mostly, I mean, I mean, I, I do have a great voice. Oh, we're throwing down. Yeah, throw down! Throw down! Kick him in the throat! Where are you? Give me the address. I'm coming there. I'm coming to get you! I don't think I care for the cut of your jib, mister. I I've seen you. I I I've watched you. You're an arrogant son of a bitch, space ghost. Are you taking a tone with me? You're taking a tone. He's taking a tone, isn't he? Is he taking a tone? You're taking a tone! He's taking a tone with me. A little bit, yeah. I cannot believe the people that work with you, Moltar, Zoltak, whatever the name is. Zorak, moron. They, 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 I can't believe they have not risen up against you, quite honestly. You're really full of yourself. I'll have you know that my ego is completely justified by this lovely bronze statuette. Just stand up to this guy. Tell him you've had enough. Yeah. We've had enough! Yeah, that all you can stand, you're not gonna take it anymore! We're not gonna take it! No! No! We ain't gonna take it! Get right in his face! We're, We're not, not gonna, gonna take, take it, it anymore. anymore! You don't have to take it! I will not tolerate an insurgency on this show! You're just as good as he is! You should have your own show! Wrong! Moltar, end the show! No way, Ghost! Dump the dude in the suit! Space Ghost, coast to coast! No! Zorak and Moltar coast to coast. Death to America, Space Ghost. Bring it, bug. Is this it? Is this the final battle? 
Has the Reaper come for me at last? Is this the end of Space Ghost? protect your loved ones with a silver care plan. It pays tax-free cash that can be used for final and any other expenses. In times like these, it's so important to plan ahead. With the silver care plan, your rates will never increase, your plan cannot be canceled, and coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. By starting now, you can lock in the lowest rate possible. Call now to get free information. Call 1-800-441-2400. Waiting till next year could cost you thousands. Because of the all-new McElveen Chevrolet in Mount Pleasant, our holiday monsters got the tax man on the run by accelerating savings on heavy SUVs and trucks this holiday. Four-wheel drive Chevy Tahoes are priced from $30,850. You write off $30,850. You save big on taxes. Small business owners, expense the entire cost of your vehicle this year. Waiting will cost you thousands in monster holiday savings at the all-new McElveen Chevy Hummer in Mount Pleasant. You've seen them in your living room. Now see them live. Bravo, the official U.S. network of Cirque du Soleil, wants to put you in the audience with the Bravo Cirque Sweepstakes. Enter for your chance to win a trip for two, complete with airfare and hotel, to experience a spectacular live performance of Cirque du Soleil. Plus an exclusive Bravo Cirque du Soleil gift basket. Here's how to enter. Register at EMO's location and you could be on your way to see Cirque du Soleil live in Las Vegas or Orlando. One lucky Charleston area resident will win. Visit Moe's today and it could be you. So, you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? I said, Joe, think of the family. It's comfortable. Not too big, not too small. Got a DVD. End of discussion. I said, Liz, we need a man's SUV. I mean, this thing tows like a son of a gun, and it's got a Hemi. Deal. The all-new Durango. Big size, smooth ride, Hemi power. And Joe completely understood. Liz finally saw it my way. Soda? The all-new Dodge Durango. Starting under 26.6. Majin Boo. Super Boo. Kid Boo. Evil comes in three new flavors. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 for the PlayStation 2 console. If you've got a favorite character, you've got to fight. Rated T for Teen. Do you like chocolate? You know, delivering everything on the Adult Swim Ultimate Holiday Wishlist isn't all ho, ho, ho. It's hard work. Shop the Ultimate Holiday Wishlist on AdultSwim.com. If you're going to wish, wish big. You know, the big man wouldn't be so jolly if he had to lift all this stuff.
just a tiny dab like that. Now for the hills. Palette knife or fan brush? Fan brush? No contest. Then it was turpentine! Use the fan brush! Take more Thorazine. Fan brush. Yes! Good call. That's nice. And down here, I think we'll have to put... A happy little tree. A happy little tree! A happy little tree. Yes! I love you, man! I really wouldn't get too involved in that program. It's almost eight, and my friends are coming over to watch Babylon 5. See? I reserved it a week ago. It's a done deal. Les jeux sans fait. The die is cast. Fine. Believe me, I've got better things to do on a Saturday night than watch TV. Hey, wanna get sloshed? I have a date. But good idea. I'll get sloshed first. Hmm. Hey, Posey, you wanna hang tonight? Sure, get your stuff, we're late. Where are we going? Potluck supper for my women's anger collective. They won't like it, but I'll say the salad is from both of us. Um, why don't you go ahead and I'll catch up later? Groovy, I'll see you there. Babylon 5! Babylon 5! No more talking, starting now. Gwen, my old standby. Hey, it's Andy. I know this is sort of last minute, but it looks like I've decided to go out tonight after all. So call me and... Oh, sorry. I just made plans to have last minute sex with somebody else. <laughs> call me and, and win at his band of merrymakers. <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, God. The old-time radio tapes. Hey, Andy. Sure you don't want to join us? We've got ginger snaps. No, thanks. I've got some serious partying to do. Try not to accidentally nerd yourselves to death while I'm gone. Radio. Hi, Gus. Hey, kid. sticking out of your head. Yeah, don't fuss over it. Don't fuss? We've got to get you to a hospital. Eh, go to a hospital. Doctors always find something wrong with you. May I at least ask what happened? Eh, some punk attacked me on the bridge. Threw him over. Hmm, great pickle loaf sandwich, honey. May I at least... Stop badgering me! Andy, come on in. I thought that was you. How you doing? Oh, hey, it's Jerry, right? Yeah, but my friends call me the Republican Vampire. <laughs> are you GOP, Andy? Uh, I'm not. I, I, I don't. The Repubs are cool, man. Let me tell you my philosophy vis-a-vis -vis our conservative friends. I follow Marilyn Manson, but I obey Rush Limbaugh. I hear him on the radio and I just go. <laughs> Dance with me, Andy. <laughs> he won't let us remove the knife. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, I'm afraid there's no law against having a weapon stuck in your head. Fabulous. Hey, is everything okay? Awesome. I am absolutely at wit's end. Can you help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm out of school. Before you've had it. Okay, fun's over. Andy's home. No fair. I was winning. What's going on? Is that still Babylon 5? Hey, how do you play this thing? Uh, hey. hey. He's aiming at your proton accelerator! No coaching! It's me! me! Andy, your harvesters are hungry! Stop helping! You killed him!
Mm. You blew up George's ship. <laughs> In your face, little man. Yippee! The brother's oh, French God. saved the day. Yeah, oh, fair. Right. He plays too erratically. Yes. I love you, Kevin. I love you. Really? Oh. You do? I'm going home. Yeah. Go on. Get out of here, losers. Losers! But I wasn't even playing. See you later, guys. The brothers French are going to hang for a while. Uh, Andy, you want to hear something weird? <laughs> Ever since I moved here, I kind of thought you hated me. But now, well, I know that was just an act. <laughs> so, you want to go do something tomorrow? Maybe you see a movie? Mm, sure. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, bro. You're the best. Hmm. How about some last minute sex, baby? Your child protected for the future? Gerber, the baby people you've known since you were an infant, offers you a way to help with that protection through their Grow Up Plan for Children. It's a $5,000 cash value insurance program that costs less than a dollar a week. At age 21, that protection doubles to $10,000 with absolutely no increase in premiums. In addition to automatically doubling at age 21, the plan also guarantees the right to $50,000 of insurance by age 28 regardless of health or occupation. So call now for your free information package. Any healthy child 12 and under is eligible to apply. No medical examination is necessary. Simply answer a few questions. As a special feature, your first month's premium is $1. The Gerber Life Grow Up Plan. To show that you care, call now. For free information, call 1-800-441-2400 or visit turnershop.com slash Gerber. Americans drive over 1.7 billion miles every year. That's more than 70 million times around the world. That's a road trip. ABC Family wants to make your drive a little easier with a chance to win up to $500 per month in car payments for a whole year, plus $2,000 in cash for gas. Or you could win a Magellan Meridian GPS unit to keep you moving in the right direction. Here's how to enter the ABC Family Drive Away Sweepstakes. Visit Stokes Kia to enter and you could drive away a winner. Only at Stokes Kia 8640 Rivers Avenue. Dixie slams the door on the year before. Dixie Furniture wraps up the year with their biggest sale ever. They must make room for new furniture. So today, everything is marked down. Way down. All remaining living room. Out the door. Every dining room. Out the door. All leftover bedrooms and mattresses. Out the door. Go get the Dixie Furniture now. Because very soon, Dixie slams the door on the year before. Dixie will do it because Dixie don't care. Now you can trace almost any picture you want with the Rainbow Art DigiDraw. That's right, DigiDraw lets you trace photographs. It's amazing. Choose from magazines, photo albums, then place your picture on one side and trace the reflection on the other. In no time, you created a perfect drawing. Plus, with DigiDraw, you can draw on almost any surface, make cool tattoos, and customize your favorite stuff. Just place your image on one side and trace the reflection on the other. In no time, you created an amazing and unique work of art. And with DigiDraw, no lights, no batteries, and you can take it anywhere. Get DigiDraw with everything you see here for $19.95. Plus, we'll also include this amazing magic pen set. DigiDraw from Rainbow Art. It's one of the coolest drawing systems you've ever seen. Here's how to order. Call 800-441-2400 to order your complete Rainbow Art DigiDraw kit. Plus your bonus magic pen set. Must be 18 years or older to call. That's 800-441-2400. Per day, I would say I hate far more than I feel like I like something. I like my Western omelet. But while I'm eating that, there's about 17 other things I hate. Like my apartment, my breath, whatever's on the TV, whatever's in the paper. Then I'll walk outside and it'll be a nice day out. Wow, that's great. It's a good feeling for a split second. And then I realize I hate my neighborhood. Because I, apparently you can't play music after 6 p.m. in this country. Hey, Andy. 
Are you there, buddy? Hello? Shut up, Kevin. What? What? I'm up. What's happening? Ron's putting people's personal calls on the loudspeaker. No personal calls! You get personal call, everybody gonna hear! We all listen to your shame! Shame! Kevin, wh wh why are you calling me here? Just reminding you of our movie date tonight. What are you talking about? Oh, crap. Hey, everybody! Andy has movie date with some guy! Smoochy, smoochy! Sure, tonight, whatever. Look, don't call me here again. Okay, I love you. Up, <laughs> oh, it's too crowded. Let's forget it. Of course it's crowded. Feminoid is only the most popular comic book in the sub-mainstream indie punk universe slash metaverse. Hi. Sorry I'm late, but I had to bring my stupid sister. <laughs> She's home from Polytech this week, and my parents are forcing me to spend time with her. Quit your whining, Stinky. I am not Stinky. Stop saying that. Hi. You must be Kevin. Stinky here told me a lot about you. Ah, none of it bad, I trust. <laughs> Ooh, I see you're studying complementarity. Which construct of the universe do you subscribe to? Hmm, Bohr is pretty cool, or Newcomb, but none of them really rocks my world. I might come in handy in that department. Andy French, at your service. Pleased to meet you. a big deal. Ain't you never seen a guy with a knife in his head? <laughs> Saints preserve us! Hey, Bub, your hat, where'd you get it? Y you like it? Take it. Uh, I can steal another one, no problemo. Look, Mommy, the cat in the hat! <laughs> Mr. Mott Liquor and Bugles. Oh, sorry, we all out of bugles. Uh, how about the Mott Liquor and Toothpaste? Nah, I had that for breakfast. Say, is Tina here? Hey, Andy. Tina, hi. Look, um, I had a really good time last night, and I was wondering... Hello there, Tina. George, Toby, and I are going to Galacticon tomorrow, and I thought maybe we could all go. Galacticon? Isn't that your allergy medicine? <laughs> no, it's the big sci-fi convention. Would you like to come? I'd love to come. Help me in. Great. So we'll all go. <laughs> hey, buddy. I've got an idea. Why don't we have a big sleepover tonight before the con? You can invite all your friends. Stinky, the Blobster, Tina. Sure, you're helping me out more than you know. Hey, what are brothers for? You gonna wear that thing to bed, too? Never taking it off. Solves everything. Gus, covering the knife with a hat doesn't solve your problem. Hat, 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 knife, knife, knife. Can't you talk about something else? But it is affecting my life. Well, you're stuck with it. Unless you want to go out and find the guy without a knife in his head. In which case, good luck. Oh, and Tina, guess what? I also do a perfect ministry of silly walks. Andy, you'll enjoy this too. 
Well, I don't know. So I took a long roll this way, so I'll follow me. It's all right. No step lovely. Well, okay, Kevin, time for bed. But we're all having such a great time, and it's only 10 o'clock. Well, we do have a big day tomorrow, and it is past George's bedtime. But I'm winning. Not anymore. <laughs> Good. Now, put on your jammies and hop into bed, you little monkey. Okay. Hey. No more water, Stinky. This sucks. <laughs> I've never slept next to a girl before, but I assure you I'm a perfect gentleman. It's okay, Kevin. I trust you. Oh, uh, going somewhere? Uh, do you need something? I'm just gonna go talk to Andy for a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'll wait for you. Hey, R2, how's it going? Boop, boop, deet, deet. Hey, Posey, guess who I'm supposed to be? Agent Mulder from the X Files. Oh, yes, um, you look just like her. But... Andy, who are you going as? A treacherous, perverted backstabber? What? Oh, I'm sorry, you wouldn't need a costume for that. What? How do I look? Tina, I must say, you make a beautiful Geordie LaForge. Thanks, Kevin, that's really sweet. Do you even know who Geordie LaForge is, Andy? Duh, he's that guy from Star Wars. I mean, Trek, Star Trek. Star Wars? He said Star Wars. A lot of good an expert in dilithium crystals is gonna be in a universe of spaceships powered by hyperdrives. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning, my love. Ow! Stop fussing. Oh, I'll show you fussin'. So much fussin', you'll wish you'd never been born! My God, who's manning America's libraries and software stores? Right, Tina? Uh, Tina, may I pay for your ticket? Make it so. <laughs> hey, damn Klingons. Come on. Who wants an autograph? Uh, uh, you don't have to be afraid of me. I'm just a woman. I, 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 I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> You're too much of a stubborn old ox to get rid of that knife. Maybe the prospect of being a huge public spectacle will change your mind. All that fuss? I'm not getting rid of the knife. Never! Nobody's business is private. Well, what are you staring at? 
Haven't you ever seen two men hold hands before? Hello, I'm George Lucas. A broken hyperdrive has prevented me from joining you today, but please welcome my friend, Jimmy Briskin from the film, oh, Return of the Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Thank you, George. I'm Jimmy Briskin. You might know me better as Ewok Villager Number 2 from the hit film, Return of the Jedi. Are there any questions? Uh, yeah, how, how'd you get... Get away from me, you snake in the grass! What's wrong with you? You've been acting like Surly McDouchebag all day. Hey, can we just listen to the Ewok? Ugh, I'm moving. Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, what was it like working with the master, George Lucas? Oh, it was unforgettable. We Ewoks danced and clapped until Mr. Lucas blew the whistle, signaling us to stop. And then he provided buses back to Studio City. Uh, what were your thoughts on, on the Phantom You Man pretended to be my friend just so you could steal Tina away from me. Tina? Yes, Tina. She's my girlfriend. I am in love with her. You gotta be... Oh, man. Any more questions? Oh, yes, I have one. Did any of the other Ewoks ever try to steal your girlfriend? Uh... Uh, no, uh, Ewoks don't do things like that. Kevin, listen. She's not your girlfriend just because you like her. She has to like you back. And she's not your girlfriend because you're a pervert. Ouch! Help! An <laughs> insane perverted <laughs> lunatic is trying to kill me! <laughs> oh, but please, don't fight. Hey, be like Ewoks. Everybody sing and clap. Yup, nup. Chop, chop. Yup, nup. Kevin, no woman on Earth has that much time. Uh, halt! That's the eye! Oh, oh, crap! You can't go into the employee's only zone! to talk. Listen, I have to leave or I'll miss my train back to school, but I just wanted to say I'm really disappointed in you. Mm. At first, I thought you were really cute and that we had a lot in common, but then I realized how immature you were. Which one is she talking to? Who cares? Maybe I'll give you a call next time I visit, but you'd better get your act together and grow up a little. See ya. Bye. Bye. What are you saying bye for? She was talking to me. No, she wasn't. She was talking to me. You're insane. She was looking right at me. Excuse me. I've watched Next Generation for years. I think I know when Jordy LaForge is talking to me. Okay, maybe the immature part was you, but the cute part was definitely me. Why would she think you were cute? Unless she meant cute like a gnome or something. Hey, are those the kids who cause all the damage? Yes. But let them go. They must find their destiny. Jeremy, get in the car. You're going to be late for the orthodontist.
According to the Wall Street Journal, indoor air pollution can be up to five times worse than the air outdoors. Clean air can be the difference between living comfortably or being miserable. Sharper Image introduces the ultimate clean air solution, the patented Ionic Breeze Quadra. Exclusive Xenion technology cleans and circulates air without a fan or filters and is totally silent. Here's how it works. First, the Ionic Breeze positively charges the incoming air. Then the air is pulled toward the negatively charged grid like a magnet. The positively charged contaminants attach to the collection grid and then the cleaned air is accelerated into the room, creating a fresh clean smell. Cleaning takes only minutes. Just pull out the collection grid, wipe it with a damp cloth or sponge and slip it back in. It's that simple. Studies have proven the Ionic Breeze removes allergens such as pollen and animal dander. It even removes airborne bacteria and some harmful chemicals from carpeting, paint, and household cleaners. It powers through smoke and offensive odors and leaves your house smelling fresh and clean. Don't be misled by the prices of other filters. Over five years, hidden costs of filter replacements and electricity can add up to over $1,000. The Ionic Breeze Quadra requires no filters and uses almost no electricity. Try it in your home for two months. If you don't love it, send it back. Sharper Image will give you a full refund. Through this exclusive offer, Sharper Image will send you a free bathroom ionic breeze. This compact plug-in helps even dirty bathrooms smell fresh and clean 24 hours a day. The $69 bathroom ionic breeze is yours free when you order today. And that's not all. Call now and be sure to ask about free shipping. Call 1-800-441-2400. Help eliminate chemicals, allergens, and odors with the ionic breeze quadra. That's 1-800-441-2400.
understand. Masaru, it's slippery. I'll be fine. <laughs> That's a relief. It looks like he's finally starting to cheer up again. I wish he were. I think he's pretending. Huh? He's like that. Whenever he's feeling sad or lonely, he'll always try to do whatever he can to hide it from me. He knows how sad it would make me if he showed how he felt. And when it comes to our mother, I... strange that the snow has just fallen and it's already begun to melt away. I know. Uh, I don't see Masaru. Uh, you need to be careful now or you could hurt yourself. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Although there's nothing I like better than watching children running and playing and enjoying themselves. <laughs> Masaru! Huh? I gotta go. Goodbye! <laughs> hey, me, let's go! Uh, yeah. Masaru, you shouldn't run off like that. Well, I'm sorry. Are you all right? <gasps> M Mother, it's you. What? I don't know what to say. The three of you have traveled all this way just to see me. Oh, you must all be frozen. Okay, here you go. I made some hot chocolate for you. I remember how you loved it when you were a little girl, let's go. Oh, what am I thinking? Masaru, you're probably hungry. Oh, let's see, I could make you something. What would you like? I could make you a hamburger, or no, maybe... No, thanks. It's no trouble. You should eat something. How about a little cake, hmm? I don't want anything. Masaru, I'm your mother. Please, let me make something for you. No, you're not! You. You're not my mother! Masaru! <coughs> Masaru! <sighs> I should have expected that. After all, this whole thing is my fault. Do you really feel that way? Do you really think that it's your fault? Just what do you mean? You have no idea what it's like. Do you think it's easy for a mother to be separated from her children? I remember as a little girl, you were always so gentle. What happened to you? If you really think I've changed so much, then it was you who caused it. I didn't have much of a role model. But what I feel doesn't really matter. It's Masaru. He was just a baby. And he's grown up having never seen his mother's face. I... I didn't... Since you left, I've done everything I could to raise him right. But no matter how much I love him, or how hard I try to take care of him, nothing can change the fact that I'm his sister. I can never be his mother. I can't expect you to understand, but it was complicated. There were circumstances I couldn't control. Even if that is true, in the end it was you who made the choice to abandon us. You're right. It's only natural for you not to forgive me. I read Father's diary. Father kept a diary, you know. A diary? I... I see. So what if you have read it? I guess that explains a lot. I really don't know what Komyoji wrote in his diary, but I would assume that you have come here for revenge. Okay, why don't we get this over with? 
Go ahead and kill me if it'll make you feel better. I think Father's alive. I think Professor Gill is holding him somewhere against his will. Gill? I don't know who you're talking about. Don't play stupid. Tell me where he is now. I've forgotten. You're lying! Don't you think you've hurt us enough already? Mitsuko. There's nothing noble about women who create their own private melodrama and then cast themselves as the heroine. Although I have to admit that men do find that attractive. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd become that kind of woman. Did you really imagine you could just waltz in here out of the blue with your little boyfriend and lecture your own mother? You must be joking. Now, unless you have any other business with me, I suggest that you get out and go home. Loved it so much, we brought it back. The big, bold flavor of Arby's Italian beef and provolone. With beef oven roasted so it's tender and juicy, not greasy. Then marinated in Italian seasonings with authentic provolone on a soft baguette. If you haven't tried one yet, you don't know what you're missing. Gee, other than that, you have a really nice announcer voice. Thanks, Sarah. Excuse me, someone's at the drive-thru. <clears throat> Welcome to Arby's. Have you tried our new Italian beef and provolone? What are you eating today? ways to control time. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, rated T for teen. Pizza Hut Sicilian pizza tastes like Lots of discs, I know. But there's so many new features on that disc, I couldn't possibly list them. Even the usually skeptical press is giving AOL 9.0 rave reviews. Oh, look, honey. Oh. Dramatically cut spam. Satisfaction guaranteed for 90 days or your money back. Whoa, try it. I'll bet you'll be using an old Snoop Dogg CD to finish that beautiful artwork. <laughs> now wait just one manizzle. <laughs> AOL 9.0 optimized. So much new, you've got to try it. In a world of sex and spaceships, only one man has the onions. His name is Futurama. And I'm his friend Jesus. He came from another network with pass loads of robot monkey fun. I'm boned. Four nights a week at 11 Eastern, electrifying wonders fill the screen. What the hell are you talking about? Futurama on Cartoon Network. Do you have anything better to do? We didn't think so. Mm. Sorry, Masaru. Those were the only boots we could find when we went to the store. They were all out of children's sizes. Don't worry, I'll be okay. I think we should just leave. I can't yet. I'm certain Mother knows where Gil is. I won't leave until I know. Can't you see this is hurting you? Uh, and Masaru, how do you think he feels? I don't want to see the two of you get hurt anymore. I'm okay, Jiro. Come on, let's go. No, Jiro. I'm gonna talk to her one more time. But, Mitsuko... Jiro, believe me. I want to leave as much as you do. Please, tell me where I can find Gil. 
All right, I'll change the subject. How about you and Gil? What exactly was your real relationship with the professor? Hey, Mommy? Yes, dear? Who's Professor Gil? Is he your friend? Or is he one of Daddy's friends? Oh, well, let's see. I guess you'd have to say he's a friend of both your Mommy and your Daddy. Since you seem to want to know so badly, I'll tell you. It was exactly the relationship you think it was. <gasps> About that one thing, I have no regrets. I make no apologies for loving Professor Gill. Come on. Huh? Let's go find Mitsuko. It's time for us all to go home together. Get up! Wait up! I did it all for him. I would have done anything Gil asked. I married Komyoji so that I could give Gil constant reports on his research data. Then why? If that's the reason, why did you give birth to Masaru and me? Do you really have to ask, Mitsuko? I did it because it was my duty. Your duty? Yes. Don't you see? It was my duty to be Dr. Komyoji's wife in every way. And, of course, the natural result of that was your and Masaru's birth. So that was your only purpose? It was nothing more than collecting data? And that's the cold-blooded reason that Masaru and I were born? <laughs> Let's go! Are you all right, sis? <laughs> and my duty now? is to kill you in front of that man. Nothing personal, you understand. <laughs> now then, Jiro, what will your conscience circuit do? Let's see how it reacts to this situation. I thought so. You're working for Gil even now. I have my orders. Jiro! Get out of the way, now. No. Lives are not like snow. I don't pretend to understand, but... That much I know. Lives don't just drift down for the sake of melting away. Once you're born, you have to do whatever it takes to fight and stay alive! <laughs> so, you must be... Yes, as you can see, I'm an android. But I don't have to be human to understand. And lives are not something that should be taken away! This android seems to have the ability to conceptualize the value of life. Could it be possible that the conscience circuit has somehow begun to evolve? Ah! Oh, don't move! No, let her go! This is... This is my duty. I have to. All right. Kill me, then. I wanted to believe. I wanted to hear you say it was all a lie. I was so naive. I know now that that can never happen. No, Mitsuko! She's not that important! Don't give up! You have to live! There's nothing left for me. Maybe it would have been better if I had never learned the truth. Please, Mother. Kill me. You get away from Mitsuko! Jiro! If you don't, I'll... I'll... I swear I'll... No, that... That can't be! It's impossible. It's just a machine. It can't shed tears? You must destroy him! 
White Scorpion, destroy Kikaida! What the? I've prepared special ammunition for you. Get out! Are you? What's the matter? Don't you recognize me? I'm Saburo, your kid brother. <gasps> Komyoji made you, then he tried to correct his mistake by making me. No, you're lying! It's no lie. I was conceived specifically to destroy you. <clears throat> but before I do, there are a few things I'd like to find out. First, I want you to show me what you're really capable of. Come on. I know you can do better than that. Show it to me, brother. Come on. Don't try to tell me this is the limit of your power. Stay back! Don't come any closer! White Scorpion! <gasps> You'll find Gil there. that's a little large. Maybe you can grow into them. I hated it. I hated how you and I grew so close and how with each and every day that passed, you became more and more dear to me. <laughs> it was my duty. And I carried out that duty and made a happy family. But I hated myself every minute for doing it. If it weren't for Gil... If only I had never met that man. Oh, Mother. I should have known it would end this way. A spy should never fall in love with her target. No! Shot that woman down. 
Don't you hey, you! Hold it right there! Hold it right there! Inside my heart, a voice urges me on. From inside my heart, dark desires beckon. My heart cannot forgive the sin of giving in to destruction. Is this the real me? No, it isn't. Save me! Next time on Android T. Kider, the animation, The Destroyer. enough rushing through a stressful world during your waking hours. So why add to that stress in bed, tossing and turning on an uncomfortable metal spring mattress? You deserve a good night's sleep, and that's just what you'll get with the Tempur-Pedic Swedish Sleep System, the only mattress that uses the gravity-defying temper material originally developed by NASA. Instead of uncomfortable metal springs, the Tempur-Pedic mattress uses billions of viscoelastic memory cells. This soft yet supportive material automatically adjusts to every curve of your body, providing a weightless-like sleep surface that you have to feel to believe. It feels like it's actually forming its own glove to me. I can't really find an uncomfortable position. It's like nothing, I, it's like nothing I've ever felt before in a mattress. Now you can feel it for yourself. Call and we'll rush you a free sample of the revolutionary temper material along with this video and information kit. You'll learn how metal springs create pressure points that cause you to toss and turn. Tempur-Pedic reduces pressure points so you can get a better night's sleep. The Tempur-Pedic mattress is unique in that it is firm, but yet it molds to your body, thus relieving those pressure points and allowing you to get a much better night's sleep. First night was amazing. The second night, I woke up the next morning, no back pain. And I've always had back pain. I was sold every two nights. And because Tempur-Pedic doesn't transfer motion, you'll never disturb your partner. Look how this glass of red wine doesn't tip over, even when she jumps up and down. Try that with a metal spring mattress. Don't be fooled by imitators. Only the Tempur-Pedic mattress uses the revolutionary temper material originally developed by NASA. Tempur-Pedic, changing the way the world sleeps. Call 1-800-592-3388 for your free video information kit and temper material sample. Tempur-Pedic, the Consumer's Digest Best Buy Award winner. 
Well, you know, nobody said they were good at fishing. Or soccer. And definitely not golf. But for some good old-fashioned family fun, they do play a mean game of basketball. The Logators face the Columbus River Dragons Saturday, January 3rd, 1 p.m. The first 1,000 fans receive a magnet schedule. Logators basketball. Excitement you can sink your teeth into. Mommy, Mommy, what about my birthday party? Don't worry, sweetheart. You're having a birthday bowling party. I am? I've never been bowling. You'll have a great time. It's easy to knock down pins. They have lightweight bowling balls, bumpers, and everything that makes a party fun. Party favors, balloons, food, a birthday cake, even a party coordinator. I can't wait. This is one party we'll both enjoy. And I arranged everything with just one phone call. So, you think Santa will like these red and green M&M's? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the house and out of control. The Sims are busting out. Ready to keep repeating. EA Games. Delivering everything on the Adult Swim Ultimate Holiday Wish List isn't all ho ho ho. It's hard work. Shop the Ultimate Holiday Wish List on AdultSwim.com. If you're going to wish, wish big. You know the big man wouldn't be so jolly if he had to lift all this stuff. I picked up my first gun at the age of seven, and I shot. I remember how strangely easy it was to pull the trigger. I actually laughed. Because that one shot was all it took to finally silence that sickening piece of garbage who had the nerve to call himself my guardian. <laughs> it was that simple. And so, I was free. Yes, tomorrow things would be different. <laughs> tomorrow.
As much as I wanted to believe, it only went from bad to worse. A vicious cycle. Life is like an incessant series of problems, all so difficult, with brutal choices and a time limit. The single worst thing we can do is to make no choice while we're waiting for the answer to come to us. You must make the best decision in a split second. We are nothing like God. Not only are our powers limited, we sometimes are driven to become the devil himself. I didn't want other kids to grow up like me, so I started my own orphanage. It was gratifying work. I was actually doing something for the good of others. It was my place of peace and happiness. Yet sometimes, I still think to myself, there's no place worse than this planet. It's horrible here. Enjoy this. Ah, oh, shit. This thing's filthy. You're wrong! He wasn't gonna shoot me! Please, please don't look at me like that. There are extenuating circumstances you don't understand. You still need some work. It's not healthy to hesitate, because every time you do, you wear down a little more of your life. I'm sure I told you that before, haven't I? Why have you come here? Apparently you've lost some weight. Why, Nicholas? I've been traveling with a real troublemaker. It's not wise to drown in each other's pain. It's time for you to kill this man now. Uh, but Knives specifically told me to bring him back alive. The order was not to destroy him. I'm afraid that order has been retracted. What about the money? Don't worry, it will be paid as promised. Follow through with your mission, and I guarantee the lives of your precious December orphan children upon the holy name of the Chapel of the Gung-Ho Guns. And as of now, you too, my friend, are also a Gung-Ho Gun. Deal with the situation as instructed, and you will inherit my title.
the way he looked at me. It was as though he was the one who killed the kid. Damn it, I'll take the blame. Hit me if you need to. Then, maybe at least I can... Mr. Priest? Oh good, I was hoping I'd find you here. I thought you might be hungry, so Meryl and I made you sandwiches, and I'd be very happy if you'd eat them. Oh yeah, and you take your coffee black, right? Why haven't you said anything? Anything? About the kid I killed the other day. Oh. Mm. Oh, I just don't know what to say. I'm so confused. Because what you said was right, and what Mr. Vash said was true, too. I don't like it when people have to die. What would you have done? I don't know, really. That's not good enough! I don't understand him. Even in such an impossible situation, he keeps saying that nobody had to die. How can he believe that? <sighs> That's the way Mr. Vash has always been. I know because I've watched him for a long time. He's lived by that rule his whole life. It's very important to him. Thou shalt not kill, remember? What the hell kind of churchman are you anyway? Come on! I've lived my life very differently from him, and I guess I have to accept that. I was supposed to guide him. I was ordered to protect him. It was my job to be there for him. But the mission, the obligation, it doesn't matter anymore. I honestly wanted to save him, even if it meant killing a child. I actually wanted to save him. I had no alternative. I had to choose one or the other. <laughs> it's so strange. Where did I go wrong? I, I've always chosen the right path, haven't I? <laughs> ah, thank you. You're so kind. You need your strength. Please eat the sandwiches. Will you please eat them with me? Millie's so late getting back to her room. I don't know. What should I do? What should I say to him? Ram. Are you leaving without saying goodbye? I shouldn't have hit you the other day. You didn't deserve it. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Maybe there was a way out of that problem. Maybe what we should have done would have been something like- SHUT UP! THAT'S ENOUGH! Our lives are too different, Vash. You and I were destined to come to this. It's part of who I am. Long ago, we started a quick draw tournament. We're going to settle it at last. Right here and now. Why at this time? If I tell you, will you agree to die? Draw! Draw! <laughs> okay, I'll do that for you. But in return, will you do something for me? Yeah, what? When this is all over and I'm dead, you won't ever shoot anyone again.
not going to say that I don't like smoking, but I can quit if I wanted to. I'm not addicted. No way. And this is because of lung cancer. I That's what they tomorrow. say, but I could quit tomorrow if I wanted to. That's just the bottom line. I could quit whenever I want. I'm on the wait list for lung transplant. And just take this thing and put it right down. I can quit tomorrow if I want to. Easy. I've been saying I can quit tomorrow for 25 years. People often ask, what exactly does Goodwill do? Simple. One day you look in your closet and say, oh my gosh, a purple paisley shirt. So you donate it to Goodwill, where someone says, oh my gosh, a purple paisley shirt. And then, this is my favorite part, we use the money to fund programs that help people become more independent. You should see what we can do with a pair of these. Goodwill. Do you wish you had some hilarious Adult Swim DVDs of your very own? It's about time. Now your wish can come through with these hilarious new DVD sets featuring Space Ghost and Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Available now at AdultSwim.com. Two, count them, two, two hilarious discs in each set. Stay out of their mind. Each box set features 16 full episodes. You're not a foul moon, huh? Create your commentary. What's up with that? Special guest. Space Ghost, Space Ghost. He's got muscles that you can't see. Man, I feel better already. Uh, Lost scene. Now let's go ahead and torch them, Donnie. Run! And that's not all. Oh, my God. Visit AdultSwim.com to order your Space Coaster Aqua Teen Hunger Force Volume 1 DVD set today. But wait, there's more. Hilarity, that is. If you order now, we'll throw in a special Adult Swim gift. A Space Ghost or Aqua Teen t-shirt for you to wear while you're watching your Space Ghost or Aqua Teen Volume 1 DVD box set. Order now on AdultSwim.com. You might want to talk to a customer service rep about that. <laughs> When this is over and I'm dead, you don't ever shoot anyone again. You actually expect me to become a living target like you are? All right, so how do you plan to get out of this predicament, huh? I don't know. Then answer me one thing. You're obviously going after Knives. What do you intend to do once you find him? Many years ago, he stole someone who was very important to me. So you want revenge? I don't know. I really don't know. I see. So that's how you live. That's how you choose to live. You know what? You're an expert at pissing me off. Amazing. Hey, Wolfwood. Take cover! That. It must be Kane. He's probably sniping from the outskirts of town. If we don't do something now, he will hit his target. And he's not alone. What? Why don't you go after Kane? You shouldn't have any problem finding him. The other one's mine. By the way, I only know you as the Stampede. I think you can at least tell me your real name. No way. I'm not gonna tell you just so you can go out and get killed today. Now don't be stupid. Tell me. Between you and me? My name's irrelevant. <laughs> Time to get back to business, Vash. Hmm? Wolfwood, why? No, doesn't matter. <laughs> Alcohol? 
in here. clues I had were the lag time between rifle reports and my rough calculations of the angles on impact. I had a hard time finding you. Well, gee now, since your gun's gone to pieces, why don't you head on home? It's too hot out here. Great. I'm glad you're seeing it my way. Where? Where will he attack from? Shit! choice. Tell me, is this good enough? Is it? I'm done. That's going to be it for me. Hmm. Hmm. Now that's tasty. This is a huge disappointment to me. I can't believe you'd so easily waste the ten years of training I gave you. Wolf Actually, what? it wasn't wasted at all. I've used everything you've taught me. I just decided to do things a little differently. May you go with God's protection. Oh, yeah. And thanks for the apple. What's wrong? I failed. I failed to save someone again. Man is born a mortal being and we all make mistakes. It's part of the game. Just be more careful the next time. It's hard for me to accept making mistakes like this. Then, you can choose to suffer. That's also a part of the experience of mortal life. Oh yeah, mortal. By the way, Knives is in Dimitri. <laughs> What did you say? I never told you anything about knives. How did you know that? I hope you don't mind me barging in like this. In spite of the profession I've chosen, I've never actually made a confession before. It's these times we live in. I did what it took to protect the children at any cost. That's how I always justified my actions. I took many people's lives. All that time believing there was no other way. <sighs> my sins are so heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy to ever atone for. And yet, somehow I feel happy, at peace with myself today. It really can be done. Once you stop to think about it, th there are plenty of ways to save everyone. Why didn't I ever listen to him? 
Why didn't I see that before it was too late? Reincarnated, I'd like to live somewhere where life is easier. Somewhere with nothing but peaceful days. Somewhere with no stealing. No killing. Eden. In Eden? I could live happily with him and the girls. I'm not ready yet. Still so much left to be done. I want to stay with them. I don't want to die. Repeated tragedies, repeated pain. The wishes of a man are so strong and yet so frail and weak. To live, to stay alive. Who would have known that survival was this hard, this painful? I must choose. I must make the choice. In the moment that intertwines life and death, can I choose to remain a human?
guys looking for some entertainment? No, we good, man. Do you like cartoons? I've got cartoons for sale. Which ones? Hold tight. You're going to like this. You ain't cops, right? <laughs> Just joking. Today. Just joking. Say hello to Ed, Ed and Eddie. Hey. Oh, hey, man. You all all right? Uh, hi, I'm OK. Hey. You like Judy Jetson? I got the Get Jetsons! Out of it. Two for one for Fred and Barney! Sorry about that, gentlemen. Look, I'll throw in plank. Hey! I got a real clean Huckleberry Hound! That's my passion, you know it. Clear off! Wow, the gator, oh, make me an offer! Hey! Run! Come on, come on! Hey, man. You got Hong Kong Fooey? No. But I could get him here in 20 minutes. For over 50 years, Globe Life has made it easy and affordable for millions of people to provide their loved ones with the security of life insurance protection. In fact, each week thousands of people become Globe Life policyholders. Right now, you can start a Globe Life policy for only $1. $1 starts up to $20,000 of life insurance protection for each member of your family. Globe's Young American Plan guarantees the future insurability of your child or grandchild. The policy can never be canceled and the premiums will never increase. Many adults choose to supplement their existing coverage with Globe's Long Life Plan. No medical exam is required, and every Globe policy is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. Globe makes buying life insurance easy. Maybe that's why millions of people have Globe policies. Call now for your peace of mind protection from Globe Life. For complete information and applications for Globe's complete line of life insurance protection, call Globe today at 1-800-441-2400. Call Globe now.